Hi, I'm David Gonzalez and in this tutorial I'm gonna show you how to quickly stage your 360 video footage using Mystica VR. We're just gonna run the software and create a new project called Quick Stitch. Choose the resolution, 2K in this case, and the frame rate, 5994. Uh, now that we are in the project, we can open Windows Media Browser and browse for our SUS Media and simply drag it into the software. The first step will be to activate Mosaic View so that we can evaluate all the cameras at once and then find a sync point. Um, we want to find the, the, the feature to sync in the first camera, which will be the one taken into account as reference. So at that point I'm gonna just click sync and with the default parameters for range and sample size I'm gonna go ahead and click OK. The software is now analyzing the audio and trying to find matching features and then it will offset the cameras accordingly, as we can see here. Okay and we're gonna hit play to check that everything looks sync alright and I can deactivate mosaic view now our next step will be to load a stitch so I'm gonna load a preset uh, Mystica VR provides us with uh, several presets in this case we're gonna use the GoPro Cube which is good for Opni or Freedom 360 or any other uh, rig which uses a cube configuration and GoPros as cameras. Okay, so now that we have our preset loaded we may encounter a small issue which is that the cameras aren't placed uh, in the rig as the preset expect them so we can just see that here and by drag and drop I can reorganize them. Next will be to Realign the horizon by control and drag, I can move it, by alt and drag I can rotate around the clicked point. Uh, to be able to evaluate it better I'm gonna move ahead to remove the DP from the frame and also remove all the overlays, first the camera overlays and then the feather overlays. Uh, we can clearly see that there are some exposure mismatches and for that we can go into color tools and match color. It will improve uh, a lot the color in the frame and we go to our next uh, issue which is some uh, misalignment. We can see that much clearer if we go into VR view mode. One of the cameras is not perfectly aligned so I can just go into my positions and improve the alignment. Improve the alignment uh, will analyze the overlapping areas of the images and try to find better uh, positions for the camera so just by clicking it already found a matching position for this camera. Um, once again after doing the improve alignment I may want to repeat the color matching to even improve a bit more that edge there. Uh, if you want to make sure that we don't see any differences in the scenes we can just increase the feather in between the cameras to get a smoother transition uh, from one to the other. Um, we're gonna go into VR view mode again and check that everything looks correct. Maybe the last thing that we want to do is to adjust the exposure of the output camera so that we retain all the detail that the cameras can capture. Somewhere around there. I can move out of VR view and go to choose a range for rendering. So I'm gonna set an in point there and an out point. We have our range, we now choose the audio that we want to use uh, or which camera we're going to use the audio from. I'm going to choose the, the first one 
and just for safety save this um, timeline for future purposes okay after everything is safe I can go to file export I wanna export the current shot only because I only have one shot it's mono I wanna do it in QuickTime ProRes HQ with the audio contained in the movie give it a name and click export and that will be our first stitch done I hope you enjoyed the tutorial and thanks for watching Thank you.